Hello kids, Daddy's here. Right now, Daddy will show you a true story film from 2018, titled The Lover in the Attic. Prepare your snacks to feel the cringe and crunch. Be a good kid and subscribe to Daddy's channel. Spoilers ahead, watch out. The film is set in the 1920s in Milwaukee. Dolly Osterike, an impoverished girl, tries to seduce Fred, a successful businessman, with her beauty. With a pretty face like Dolly's, she undoubtedly wins Fred's heart. Dolly spends all of her time at home after getting married, waiting for Fred and serving him. She tries to show him her apron that she made and asks if he wants to help her sell it, but he dismisses it without even looking at it. Dolly is showing her friends her apron that she made. Suddenly, a 17-years-old repairman named Otto Sanhuber comes. Otto, who works part-time as a pulpter, attracts Dolly to his work and is a mistress of murder. When Dolly is preparing breakfast for Fred, he seduces her, but because Fred is in a hurry to meet with some clients, he tells her to keep her mood until he returns. But Dolly tells him that if he takes her out to dinner when he returns to town, she'll be in a sexual mood for the rest of the week. This enrages Fred, who warns her in a threatening tone that he will not trade her affection for anything. Dolly is completely taken aback. Trapped in the loveless marriage, she's seeking for some new excitement. She kindly persuades Fred to call the repairman before purposely breaking her sewing machine. Fred reacts by saying he'll contact the repairman. Later that day, Otto arrives. Dolly greets him in a sexy robe. He is taken aback. He begins to check the sewing machine and discovers that it isn't broke. She then instructs him to remove her shoes and rub her feet. Dolly asks him to remove his clothes after knowing he's a virgin. Dolly teases him by stating she will undress next time. The virgin Otto comes back again and prepares to lose everything. Dolly greets him in a lingerie. They don't waste any time. Dolly climbs into his lap, and the two start making passionate love. After they finish, Otto asks Dolly whether she thinks she may get a divorce from Fred. She responds that she is unable to divorce because she does not want to be impoverished like her mother. She then informs him that she will stay married to Fred until Otto can afford to give her the life she desires or something happened to Fred. One day, Otto comes to see Dolly. She leads him up to the attic, where she gives him the entire room as their ideal love nest. The sole rule is that he must remain silent when Fred is in home. Otto accepts the offer without hesitation. Then the two start making love. When the night falls, Otto hears Dolly's moan while making love to Fred. This intensifies his desire for Dolly. As soon as Fred gets to work, they don't waste any time by start making love passionately. It's Otto's 21st birthday. It also marks a four years in which he lived in the attic, with no contact with his family or friends. Dolly surprises Otto with a gift, showing him an envelope and informing him that one of his stories has recently been published in a magazine. Dolly assists Otto in getting his stories published. To celebrate Otto's success, Dolly takes him to a club. It's been nearly four years since he's been outside. The two of them enthusiastically dance among the crowd but Otto immediately becomes incapacitated by a severe anxiety attack resulting from all those years spent like a prisoner. Afraid his body trembles, he tells Dolly he wants to go home and the two leave the club immediately. At home, Otto proposes Dolly again and asks her to run away with him so he can live a regular life. But Dolly turns him down again. Fred and Dolly arrive early, and Otto comes close to being caught by Fred. Dolly can only watch, transfixed and astonished, as Otto flees for his life while Fred pursues him with a revolver. Otto has decided to spend the night with a homeless man. He then realizes that his life in the attic is still preferable, and he resolves to visit Dolly the next morning. Dolly persuades him to take the revolver with a plan in her mind. She visits a man named Roy to make sure she'll be protected by Fred's insurance at any time if anything bad happens to Fred. Dolly executes her plan when she goes out to dinner with Fred. She purposefully flirts with another young man until he becomes irritated and causes a ruckus at the restaurant. When they return home, the situation becomes even more tense. When Otto hears a scuffle in the attic, he rushes in and aims a revolver to Fred. He also admits to having an affair with Dolly and living in the attic for the past six years. Fred loses it after hearing this, and the two fight. Otto inadvertently kills Fred. He rapidly comes up with a plan to make it appear as if it was a house robbery. He orders Dolly to go into the closet and scream as he flees. The cops arrive quickly and begin their investigation. They suspect it isn't a common robbery. 
With Fred dead, Dolly makes Roy as her new lover. She seduces him in order to obtain Fred's insurance funds. She then requests him to dispose the revolver to the river. She begins a new life in Hollywood after receiving Fred's insurance money. Meanwhile, Dolly continues to keep Otto hidden. Otto proposes to her once more so that he can have his life as well. But she declines again, claiming that she is insufficient. On the other hand, when Roy goes to Dolly's house, he discovers that it is for sale and that no one inside. When he realizes he's been duped, he goes to the cops and hands over the revolver to Detective Klein, explaining that Dolly requested him to dispose it to the river. Dolly starts to make her way to high society by flirting with Herman, a well-known defense attorney. When Otto notices this, he becomes irritated. They argue when the party is over. Suddenly, Dolly receives a call from Detective Klein. He informs her that he is in California and would like to speak with her. With Herman on her hands, Detective Klein fails to convict Dolly, despite the fact that he is having the weapon evidence and she is clearly guilty. One day, Herman asks her to marry him. She accepts it without hesitation. They go to Dolly's house and start making love. Otto, who is aware of the situation, approaches Herman with a knife in his hand. Dolly presents Otto as her upstairs visitor to Herman. He then hits Dolly and informs Herman that he is Dolly's slave and that he was kept in the attic when Fred was alive. Herman then exits the house immediately. A little while later, the cops arrive and arrest both of them. The day of the trial is coming. Dolly is successful in manipulating Herman and he defends her in court. She uses her appeal to persuade the jurors to stand with her. Meanwhile, Otto is telling the truth about everything that has happened to him. Otto is convicted of manslaughter but later released because the statute of limitations had run out on his case. Meanwhile, Dolly's accusations were dropped, and she remained in Los Angeles until her death in 1961. That's all for today kids. Help daddy by like and subscribe. See you on the next videos.